My name is Alex. What is your location? For the very first time ever, Alex Spears is using a ham radio. It just so happens the person he's speaking to in Coquitlam, BC, is a brand new operator, too. Am I the first person you've spoken to? Yes, you are. Well, cool. Tell him you feel honored. I feel honored. It was really, really fun yeah. and really cool to talk to someone who's all the way in BC. I didn't know I was going to actually get to use the radio. Alex was using that radio at the amateur radio operators of Winnipeg Open House. Is there anybody out there that wants to talk to me? CQ, get it? CQ, I CQ. Held at the Winnipeg Seniors Radio Club at the Old St. Mattel Fire Hall, the event is a chance for local operators to show off a hobby that allows them to send signals around the world. Jim Sutton built this antenna in his garage. He also organized the open house. Even though some people may consider it a lost art, Sutton says the 800,000 people licensed in the U.S. proves it's more popular than ever. Just that it's not what they, th in a lot of cases, what people think it is. Uh, the old radio with the old man downstairs in his basement with a, a Morse code key. Um, it's, it's a lot different. It's a lot more technology. Um, it's, it's fun. Um, and there's, once you're into the, into the hobby, it, it branches out in a thousand different directions. You can do all sorts of things. The ham radio has come a long way since the ones you can see behind me here. There are over a thousand ham radio operators in Winnipeg and more than 600 more across the province. Ham radios aren't only used for fun though. For example, operators staff the Manitoba Marathon course every year to make sure runners are safe on the route. And they were even able to help disprove a rumor about a broken dike during last year's flooding. So they didn't know how to confirm or deny that, so they actually called the emergency operations center who said, oh, well, we've got an amateur radio operator standing on Christie Road right now. So they called the person that was out there and said, you know, what's going on? And they said, we're, we're hearing that the, the road is, you know, flooded over and uh, it's, it, uh, there's a huge disaster occurring there. And he's like, no, everything's fine here. But you can't just buy a ham radio and start talking to people. You need to be licensed first by passing an Industry Canada exam. Winnipeg Amateur Radio puts on courses to help prepare for the test. For more info, check out winnipegarc.org. For Shaw TV, I'm Crystal Lee Ramlican. Cool for the Ski Sierra Charlie.